everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Today's video is going to be an odds and ends video, or as I like to call it, an oddments video. This one would be oddments number 106. Six. I'd like to start the video off with a shout out and a thank you to John. John dropped off some uh, fishing lures at the house the other day, some jigs that he had uh, made up. He did a beautiful, beautiful job on them, tying the, the feathers uh, on them and painting the heads. Uh, they're just they're just fantastic, John. And I'd like to thank uh, thank you for uh, thinking of me. I'm going to see if we can catch some fish with them this year, John. So, thanks, John. Uh, in the last odds and ends video, I had mentioned that my new canvas tent from Panther Primitives the legendary Panther Primitives, one of their last tents that they're going to make uh, before they retire, arrived. And uh, I had to go out the other day and cut a new center pole for it. In the previous uh, video, I think I may have said that the length of that center pole should be 8 foot 2 inches. And that's incorrect. It's 8 foot 10 inches, the length for the 12 by 12 uh, hunter style canvas tent from Panther Primitives. Uh, I went out, cut a, cut a nice pole and uh, stripped all the bark off, chopped all the branches off on it. Uh, and I'm gonna be setting that tent up very, very soon. I would have set it up today. Um, as I'm anxious, I'm anxious to get it all up and start using it, but uh, the weatherman says that we're supposed to get some heavy, wet snow. And I, I have no doubt that the tent can handle just about anything, but being that it's a brand new tent, I thought I'd wait a few days until after the heavy, wet snow hits, you know? <laughs> so uh, uh, pretty soon I'll be showing everybody the new, canvas tent from the legendary Panther Primitives. I got some close-up pictures of some uh, buzzards, buzzards, uh, um, and I, I wanted to share them with everybody. Uh, um, I thought they were pretty cool. I know we're talking about snow, but uh, pretty soon it's going to be tick season. Uh, spring's uh, just around the corner, and with it comes 
ticks and uh, ticks uh, carry Lyme disease. You don't want to get bit by a tick and catch Lyme disease. It's a it's a horrible disease. Uh, so remember to use some sort of tick repellent on your clothing and be careful kind of check uh, make sure you don't get any ticks on you when you're out there turkey hunting and fishing and and such uh speaking of ticks <laughs> speaking of ticks i read the other day about possums possums and their uh role in nature with ticks so i'll uh Possums, as they wander around uh, the woods, ticks uh, adhere themselves to them, affix themselves to them, just like they do humans and deer and any probably any other critter. Um, uh, but possums, uh, one of the things that they feed on is insects. And uh, the, the tick attaches itself to a possum. The possum, in turn, grooms itself and uh, in doing so it eats the tick and the article that i read it estimated that one possum would eat approximately five thousand ticks in a year's time i got another over the winter i painted a whole lot of paintings on old hand saws, hand saws, panel saws, uh, back saws, one and two man saws. I painted a pile of them this winter. Um, I would guess I probably painted uh, close to 50 or 60 of them. Uh, and uh, some I've given away, and I enjoy giving them away. Um, and a couple I donated here and there to different uh, events and such. And I have several of them that I've kept. And what am I going to do with them, you know? I mean, uh, um, so I came up with this idea of setting out. I got a spot in mind out in the, out in the forest here. And setting the, the uh, saw paintings out. For display, probably no 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 humans will probably see them other than me. But uh, that's kind of what I wanted to do with them, and uh, I want to put them on some trees, but I don't want to harm the trees. I I, uh, I don't want to start nailing nails in trees. That's not good for the trees, and, and stuff like that. So I've been looking for a solution, and I came up with this solution of using these. Um, little clamps that they use on tarps. They're, they're for hanging tarps. They clamp onto the onto the canvas tarp, and they've got a little hole in them, and you can use it to tie down your tarp. Well, they clamp to the saw perfectly. <laughs> they, they're like they were made for them. And uh, I'm gonna clamp those on, on the saws and, that don't have a hole in them, and um, then use some paracord and and tie them to the trees so the trees won't get harmed uh i think it's going to be kind of cool when i'm done i'll show everybody in a video when i've got it all all finished up and uh, i'll uh i'd like everybody to meet scott here scott is uh subscriber to the channel he always leaves great comments great guy uh scott say hello to everybody hi everybody glad to see you here <laughs> and uh we're having breakfast with john hello everybody and yeah. everybody knows hole in the boat chuck The other thing uh, that I wanted to mention was uh, April 8th. April 8th is the total 
eclipse of the sun here and we're going to set up a live stream uh of the of the the event that day it's it'll be uh in the middle of the afternoon i'll send out a little uh post on the on the community section here on youtube of the exact time and uh, it should be a lot of fun i'm kind of looking forward to it uh, uh and for those of you who maybe don't live in parts of the country where the, the total eclipse of the sun is going to happen you can see uh you can see what uh, uh, every 300 year <laughs> event of a eclipse of the sun looks like i've got my iso certified solar eclipse viewing glasses Hey, where'd everybody go? I, <laughs> I can't see a thing with these things on. <laughs> Until next time, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on trucking and believe in yourself even when no one else does.